thank you asif uh, thank you for the kind introductions of mine i will definitely do justice with the time uh, we'll keep as short as possible but the most important thing that i have been uh, assigned for in this uh, ventilator workshop is the monitoring because as we all know that the mechanical ventilation uh, this is an indispensable form of life support uh, during the critical care support for any patient who are in icu and many a patient if we if we look at our emergency admissions or in the icu admissions uh, probably one of the uh, most aggressive uh, indications for putting the patient in icu is the respiratory support and the ventilations uh, especially the invasive or the non invasive is one of the, the different modalities are the main indications for uh, putting the patient in icu so any invasive monitoring is uh, required to identify the early signs and symptoms whether the patient is getting a uh, worsen or getting the help of giving the support respiratory supports and the general goal of any patients that uh, the we use the monitoring systems or the parameters just to identify the abnormalities at the earliest so that if we can prevent the harm to the patients so for any patients if we look at it uh, the patient is with us taking the support from the ventilations and we are expecting the patients to be improved but at the same time no support please to remember comes without any side effects so for monitoring the ventilations and the patients during the ventilations is the utmost importance just to give the maximum benefit and to prevent the uh, worse outcome so uh, that we know that why are we monitoring that we have addressed just now but we need to understand the how good are the tools that we use for the monitoring and these does monitoring at all help to change any management and that also impacts the outcome that we need to an answer because there are a lot of monitors uh, are available now in market there is a, a plenty of uh, uh, the artificial intelligence has come into uh, uh, the clinical area to play so uh, we need to understand that there may be a cost cost effective and the maximum benefits out of any monitoring system where we, it will change our practice and ultimately gives the maximum benefit to our patients so uh, come straight away to the pulse oximeter this is the plain and simple things that we use uh, maximally now in a covid scenario we are also using at home as well but how pulse oximetry helps the patients who are on invasive ventilation if we look at it basically if we uh, what we do for uh, for defining any severity of hypoxia we will go for the blood gases but it is very cumbersome and also painful for the patients at the same time it is very costly to do a blood gas every now and then so we bang on the sq and even in emergency scenario we sq to give a maximum uh, informations uh, and we should not wait for the blood gas to come so a uh, dutch uh, spo2 uh, replace the blood gases uh, uh, infrequently look at this chart if we look if we compare with the spo2 with the fi2 and a po2 fi2 we can to some extent uh, 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 justify and uh, parallelly place these two particular parameters because as we all know the po2 fi2 ratio is very important to understand and stamp the patient in which uh, grade or the severity the patient have the hypoxia so in a mild ards when we are putting these patients in the po2 fi2 ratio of less than 300 you can see here that the spo2 fi2 ratio also is around 300 or 320 something like that so it is almost a uh, similar so we can actually not replace but uh, we, we we can extrapolate from spo2 fi2 ratio uh, and uh, the po2 fi2 ratio we can uh, uh, we can we can use in in state where the abg is not been uh, available ready so if we look at the po2 as we all know that the po2 normal ratio is around 80 to 100 and the mild hypoxia is around less than 80 or the moderate of less than 60 and the severe is less than 40 but this is not the important the important is the po2 fi2 ratio uh, we can define as the po2 when the fi2 are more than 30% more than 75% is the normal and less than 75% hypoxemia and for defining the ards we uh, go for uh, the less than 300 is the severe uh, the mild ards less than 200 the moderate and less than 100 the severe ards but the most important thing when we define when we ventilate a patients for any reason it could be a restrictive airway disease it could be obstructive or it could be pneumonia it could be uh, something else or even if if it is a heart failure for which the patients are getting invasive ventilations this pao2 ratio is very important to understand because this pao2 ratio will give 